Terence Crawford wins by TKO when the Mercant doesn't go on after low blow. New York Terence Crawford knocked the Mercant down just a few punches into their fight. The punch that finally ended it was below the belt. Crawford retained his welterweight title by technical knockout Saturday night when Pun wasn't able to continue after being hit with a low blow in the sixth round. Crawford threw a left hand that hit Pun on his right hip and Pun retreated toward his corner in pain. After taking a couple minutes trying to shake off the pain, my corner told the referee that confidence continued. I could tell I was breaking him down. It was just a matter of time, Crawford said. It was a strange, unsatisfying ending to top ranks for testing pay-per-view cards, drawing loud views from the crowd of 14,091 at Madison Square Garden. The finish left Crawford and promoter Bob Aaron with plenty of time to lobby for the fight they want next. The fight I want next is Errol, Spence, Crawford said. Whenever he is ready, he can come and get it. Crawford, 35, Tyson 0, 26 plus, has not gone down in the first round, but the final couple rounds have been competitive, with both fighters throwing hard shots from close range. Referee David Fields didn't appear to see the final win that hit Khan, 33, to fight, slow. Khan could have taken 5 minutes trying to recover, but his trainer, Virgil Hunter, made the decision before, then that Khan was finished. I didn't want to send him back out there when he didn't have his leg, Hunter said. Crawford was ahead 49, to 45 on two judges' cards and 50, to 44 on the other. I was disappointed the corner stopped the fight in that manner, but Virgil is a great coach, and he was looking out for his fighter, Crawford said. I know he didn't want to go out like that. Crawford started fast in the second defense of his WBO version of the 147, Tyson Pound belt, throwing a short right hand to the head followed by a left that sent Khan to the canvas. He hurt Khan again late in the round and had no trouble controlling the early part of the fight. They both threw hard shots in the fourth and Khan landed some of them in his best moments of the fight. But Crawford hit him with a pair of good lefts in the fifth and was scoring again in the sixth when his final punch accidentally drifted low. Aaron said he thought Khan could have continued. He has five minutes to recover, Aaron said. It was an accidental low blow. He could have recovered from it. They had a cut, right? But he was looking for a place to fall. Khan, the 2004 Olympic silver medalist from Britain, was looking for what could have been the biggest victory of his pro career. The former 140, Tyson Pound champion could have looked to fight. Fellow British star Kel Brook in perhaps a more lucrative and winnable match, but instead took the opportunity as Crawford, the Omaha, Nebraska, product widely considered one of the best fighters in boxing. Hunter thought Khan has been steadying himself, even though he wasn't winning the round. I now know why Terence is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, Khan said. The biggest fight for Crawford would be a match with Spence the IBF champion who is also in the East. But Spence fights under premier boxing champions, run by Al Heyman, and Aaron said Heyman won't let his fighters risk losing to fighters from other organizations. We want to fight Errol Spence, Aaron said. Everyone wants to fight. There is one guy stopping it, and that is Al Heyman. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.